Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video to help you guys um, understand a little bit about the upcoming Spirit Jailbreak, as well as how to prepare for it. Um, now, I'll explain it to you guys in just a minute, but really, basically, there is one thing you need to do before the jailbreak even comes out that you can go ahead and take care of right now, or you can do it later. But either way, you probably need to do it, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how to get your SHSH blob saved. Kind of sounds funny, but uh, hey guys, I'll take care of it for you. Anyway, let's get this one started. This is the latest technology covering everything tech. Okay guys, so um, this is going to be a video, it's going to be kind of like a two-part video. I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and uh, back up your SHSH blobs. I'll explain those, what that is in just a second. But I'm also going to talk a little bit about the Spirit Jailbreak, so you know, bear with me here. Um, real basically, if you guys do not know, there's a new jailbreak um, called Spirit that's going to be coming out. There's, we don't have a date yet, but I mean, literally guys, it could be any day. Um, actually, and the main reason that it's not out right now is because not everybody has done this uh, SHSH blobs. So, Spirit is a really cool looking jailbreak. Um, kind of think it's going to be probably uh, similar to Black Rain, the way it works. But the main thing is, is that it's going to be an untethered jailbreak for everything. iPods, iPhones, even the iPad. It's going to work on literally every single device out there, which is fantastic. Um, so it's really basic and simple. Um, this is not a video about Spirit, but the reason that um, I'm making this video telling you about the uh, SHSH blobs is because this is what's called a user land jailbreak. Um, it's very simple to patch Apple can. Um, in fact, Apple might you know send that put up an update within you know a day or two of it coming out. Um, and in this case, if even though you might not, uh, of course you know you'll probably know that. Uh, hopefully that you know that updates are bad when you're jailbroken. But the problem is, iTunes and Apple have kind of blocked off older updates. But let's say, for example, this is my iPod Touch. I'm running 3.1.3 right now. Well, let's say Spirit comes out tomorrow. And it then, two days later after that, you know, I'm, I've already jailbroken and everything. But two days later after that, Apple comes out with 3.1.4, okay, which fi fixes the uh, jailbreak. So... I'm still jailbroken, it's not a big deal as long as I don't update. But for whatever reason, let's say I have a problem, or I, any reason really, that I need to restore my iPod. Well, guess what? I can't restore to 3.1.3 because Apple's locked it out, and I only can do 3.1.4, so basically I'm out of luck with the jailbreak. That's basically the simple way to say it. Um, now, this mostly applies if you have um, one of three different devices. The iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, and the iPad, doesn't matter what kind of iPad. Um, if you have one of those devices, you absolutely need to follow this. Okay? So now that you guys know kind of what I'm talking about, let me just go ahead and show you what you need to do. Okay, guys, so now that you know everything that you need to know, let's go ahead and just do it. Um, now, to do this, you're going to need to put your iPod, iPhone, or iPad into recovery mode. So this is really simple. If you guys don't know how to do it, um, I'll show you. Um, before I do this, though, I will note one thing, guys. Um, when you do this, it will go ahead and basically kill your iPod, iPhone, or iPad. Um, now, it's not a big deal because you can restore it back and bring all the uh, all your data, your apps, that kind of stuff off of iTunes. But before this, I highly recommend that you go ahead and sync all your data and all that kind of good stuff over to the uh, iTunes. Okay? So, to do this, go ahead and you're just going to need to hold the home and power button. Um, now, actually... I'm going to go ahead and take my iPod out of the case. Um, I suggest you guys do the same, just because you have to hold um, you have to hold uh, the home and power button for a little while, and like especially if you have like a case like this, which is silicone, it's kind of a little bit hard to do. So you know, that's just a suggestion. Not, nothing uh, that hard to do, but yeah. So now all you gotta do is just hold both the buttons, and you just start holding them. Um, now you'll say that. Totally ignore it. Continue to hold. Um, and it will take a bit, um, kind of depends, usually, you know, not too long. Okay, guys, sorry about that, oops. Um, I accidentally dropped the button, so let's go ahead and get it back. Um, but as you see, guys, I did recovery mode, just had to hold it for a while. 
Um, so yeah, guys, now, once you have it in recovery mode, you're ready to go ahead and plug it into iTunes just like it says. Okay, guys, so once you have all done with the uh, putting your iPod slash iPhone slash iPad, man, that's hard to say. <laughs> as soon as you're done putting them in recovery mode, whatever you have, go ahead and plug it into your computer. Um, iTunes may or may not pop up. It doesn't matter. If it does, just cancel it out, okay? So what you're going to need is, uh, there's actually two different ways to do this. I'm going to show you guys Auto SHSH. Um, it's a tool made by I Hate Snow, really cool uh, jailbreaker, and he, he makes a lot of cool stuff. He made uh, Snow Breeze, for example. Um, this is the program we'll be using. Um, now, we'll note, guys, um, if this is Windows only. If you have a Mac computer, you will need to go ahead, I will have in the description, go ahead check it out. I will have a link uh, to a, a tutorial on how to do this with a different program. Um, I don't have a Mac, so I can't show you guys, but it should do the exact same thing. Um, but assuming you have Windows, we can go ahead and get started. So, with your uh, device, I'm going to quit saying them all, all the names. <laughs> with your device plugged into your computer, go ahead and open up Auto SHSH, which of course the link will be in the description to download it. Um, might ask you, just say yes. Um, and I have a couple pop-ups here. The first one is you have to have a connection running. Uh, obviously, you know, make sure that your Wi-Fi is on for your computer or whatever. Make sure that it's hooked up to the internet, and uh, also make sure that it says that only one device needs to be connected. But if you're, you know, if you have more than one device, just do them at one, uh, one at a time. So go ahead and okay. And you have to ask if you have Java hooked up onto your computer. Um, if you do, go ahead and hit yes. If you don't, you do need to go ahead and download it. Um, I won't get into all that, but it should be pretty simple. Just Google it. So I already have this. So yeah. Um, now, of course, you can uh, hit the button saying, how do I enter recovery mode? But I just showed you guys, so it's no big deal. So beyond this, really simple. Just click grab my SHSH blobs automatically. It'll search for recovery mode, find your ACID, um, and then it will give you the choice to go ahead and save your uh, SHSH blob locally. So I'm just going to put it on my desktop, just say, uh, blob, doesn't really matter. Do put this, guys, um, do put that in a place that uh, is really uh, simple to find. So, you know, make sure that doesn't get lost because it, it, as you can see, actually, as you saw hopefully there, it also uploads it to Cydia. Um, so you can go ahead and do this in the future. But it's nice to go ahead and have that uh, for future reference if for whatever reason that, that server's not working. Um, so, as you guys saw, it took like two seconds. It says done. If it's still being signed by Apple, then your blob should be located and plus saved on Cydia. So now, no matter what, no matter if they come out with 3.1.4, 3.2, 4.0, whatever the firmware it is, you should always be able to restore back to 3.1.3. So it's perfectly done. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, now you're all set up. Um, if you're watching this once Spirit has already released, then I will go ahead and jailbreak it. Um, and if not, you can go ahead and do it at any time, but as long as you do it fairly soon, you know, if, as soon as they come out with 3.1.4, this total thing is all going to be busted and you won't be able to do this. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to help. Anyway, thanks for watching.